Hello everyone, it's Justin Dawson from the All Things Techie podcast. This following episode of our podcast was recorded during Infocom 2024 that recently took place in Las Vegas. Our Infocom 2024 coverage is sponsored by X2O Media, Logitech, Nereva and Wirestorm. While you may be listening to this audio podcast, I always recommend watching the video version from our YouTube channel or from our official website. Enjoy the show from Infocom 2024, live in Las Vegas. Here's the show that loves to talk about gadgets and gizmos, from A-Logic to Yamaha. Cameras to control panels. You get what I mean. We love talking all things techie. In fact, that's the name of the show. And here is your host, Justin Dawson. All right, it's the All Things Techie podcast. Justin Dawson, losing his voice, last day of Infocom. Yes, sir. Yes, we're joined by Mark Knox. Tell us a bit about yourself, Mark. Sure, man. Listen, I'm, I'm excited because, for me, this is kind of a milestone. This is my 10th Infocom in a row. Congratulations. Yes, sir. You survived. I feel pretty I good about that, I don't feel like that, I've man. survived it's, Las Vegas yet. You, you got to pace yourself, especially especially in Las Vegas. But So my name is Mark Knox, and I work uh, for Wirestorm. I'm in charge of the education business, right? So I take care of all the colleges and universities in North America. And really what my job is to do is to go around, visit campuses, and try to uncover maybe issues, opportunities, problems, and work with technology to, to help the university solve it, man. Yeah. Now, you probably see, Mark, from going around to universities, mm-hmm. there's so much mismatch Absolutely. going on. Absolutely. You know, um, yeah. so do you believe that there's a purpose there that you need to go for one system, or mm-hmm. do you like the mismatch, or mm-hmm. have you seen that, like, a lot of c- scenarios. I yeah. can even see it over in Ireland yeah. where there's a lot of mismatch going yeah. on. Yeah. But looking at your booth there this mm-hmm. morning, mm-hmm. there's so many of your matrix switchers right. that is a one size fits all. Right. Right. So there's a couple ways to approach it. So even on one university campus, depending on the size of that campus, you can have multiple different disciplines that have multiple different systems. Yes. Right. If you have a mid size or a smaller school, Maybe all of the classrooms are general use, open to all departments. They're more likely to have a standardized type of system. Right. The way we like to approach it at Wirestorm is not to put you in a pigeonhole of any one type of thing. We really just want to see where we fit in, mm-hmm. right? We work with Crestron, Extron, QSC. We have drivers for all of those matrix you just mentioned yes. to make sure that we can support what's already in place from the universities. So regardless of what system you choose, there's probably a Wirestorm piece, even if it's just an extender exactly. that can be inserted exactly. into that system. Like, look at some of your extenders that uh-huh. you have. I love, as well, your extenders and your wall plates right. because, again, it's one size wall plate right. that has multiple choices. Exactly. And it's all about choices. Yeah. It's all about choice. We want to make sure that when we put technology in a classroom, that the, the people that are going to be utilizing it have options. Now, is your wall plates, are they interchangeable? Are you able to take out and do adapters on Right. Them? So in this current series, everything is is designed and engineered uh, for a lot of heat dissipation and to be more efficient. So what you see on that wall plate is, is a design together to achieve those goals. So there's no switching out just yet. Mm-hmm. But stay tuned. Oh, stay tuned. <laughs> there's a, there's, there's a, an update coming out. <laughs> now, let's talk about some new releases that sure, you've sure. had on, on uh-huh. the booth this week. Uh-huh. So, man, the one I'm probably most excited about was a, was a product that came out of multiple conversations, both here and internationally, with universities to say, we need a solution that gives the facilitators options. Mm-hmm. So we released the MX1007HYB. And HYB means hybrid, hybrid matrix, the first of its kind, meaning we've taken every type of video format that Wirestorm supports, USB-C, HDMI, HD base T, uh, and AV over IP, and put it in one box. That's a huge, yeah, that's a huge piece. Right. So classrooms, uh, let's say 60 plus, let's say auditoriums, multi-purpose spaces, divisible spaces. Again, we're not going to be the one solution for every room. Mm -hmm. But when you need options, Wirestorm is a great place to look. Now, with that box in mind, how many classrooms could it do? So you remember I just said AV over IP is in that box. Yes. That box serves as a transmitter and a receiver. And a receiver. So essentially, depending on the size of your network switch capabilities, you could put an endless number of classrooms all linked together with that box. 
That's awesome. Yeah. You know, because a lot of a lot of your competitors are doing, oh no, this is the transmitter. Oh, yeah. this is the receiver. Right. You have to buy two. Right. This is all in one box. This is all in one box. Again, yeah. options. Because guess what? You can put this box in in 2024 and have different needs for that same room in 2026. Yes. And you don't necessarily have to change the brains of that system. You might just have to add a couple parts and pieces. But all the technology is there. I've seen in the past, like mm -hmm. in universities in Ireland, where they're using one competitor for video and one for audio. But you have it all. In yeah. We put an amplifier in it. Yeah. And we put a DSP in it. Because, again... We wanted to make it a cost effective solution to where if you wanted to, you didn't have to go with an off board amplifier. Yeah. Right now, we understand as different rooms have different needs. And if you need a more beefy sound system, by all means, use the DSP line out, go into an amplifier and blow your audio system. You know what I mean? Like, just just do it big again. Options. Yes. Yes. What? What's, what's been the, the most crazy system that you've seen going around universities? Man, it's it's. It's the it's the the visible spaces, man. Yeah. When you have a room that has multiple different uses, there could be a small graduation ceremony in it one day. There could be a, a president's lecture series in it one day. Yeah. There could be a, a fraternity party in it another day. And they need capabilities to be able to divide that room up or bring it all together. A lot of times that'll make an AV manager's head explode. Now, what I really loved seeing on your boots when I did the tour this morning mm -hmm. is that you have a monitoring system, but yeah. not only have you got the monitoring system there, yeah. you're on your customers yeah. the ability from that ticket system, right. oh, sorry, from that monitoring system mm -hmm. to raise a ticket with Wirestorm. Absolutely. That's huge. We, we get, even though we have an award-winning service team, we, we won an award from one of the publications just a few weeks ago for the service team, we understand that everybody is still on their same schedule. And, and issues don't necessarily have the same level of urgency. We don't want you to have to sit on the phone with a technician just to open a ticket, right? You should be able to do that from your remote management system and then receive a call back when it's now, more convenient. You, with that in mind, do you mm -hmm. see a lot of the IT departments going, uh oh, we don't want you into our network to sure. see stuff? Or is this, are yeah. they embracing it? No, it's campus specific, yeah. right? Some IT departments are a little more strict on what they allow on the network. Some not so much. A lot of times when the audio video department falls under the IT department, their communications are a little more streamlined and it's easier to have those those talks. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's really specific to the universities. But it is cost effective. The mm -hmm. fact that you put in Wirestorm, mm -hmm. you have this this group of support. Right. Is it 24 seven? It's 24 seven. 24 seven support. Yes, that's right. That they can they can tap into straight away. If Absolutely. They have a problem. Yes. So we, we like it, man, because uh, the phone rings just a few times. There's one prompt, one prompt, not five. It's not a whole yeah. phone tree. The one prompt, somebody answers the phone. Kenny, who's in the booth, he's the service manager. He has a, a pretty significant team that are there from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. And then if it's outside of those hours, then he kicks you over to the Netherlands, which are still all Wirestorm employees yeah. that have the same capabilities that they have in the U.S. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty streamlined. Yeah. You're talking, we're talking a lot about universities here, but like, yeah. do you go with your primary or K-212 over yeah, here as well? absolutely. And again, that's where we talk about those more simple systems, those yeah. more cost-effective systems. So what we do better than just about anybody is extend HDMI over Cat5 and Cat6. Right. Or extend USB from a teacher's desk or a teacher station up to an interact interactive flat panel. Our stuff just works. And yeah. people love it for that reason. You put it in and you don't really have to worry about it. Like the, I, what I really love is the extenders, mm -hmm. is the wall plates. You, mm -hmm. you have so many different yeah. possibilities. And the fact that you are going to make it adaptable as right. well. Right. Have you any secrets, any hidden gems that you can tell us that's coming down the pipeline? Or so. Again, I'm going to say stay tuned, mm -hmm. but what we're extremely excited for right now is our USB 3.2 extension over Cat 6A. Wow. We're talking okay. 328 feet maximum run to be able to do video data and control of a PTZ camera using USB-C, right? Beautiful. Now, that was only able to be done by a select few for the past few years, but now that opportunity has opened up, and us being uh, essentially a factory – we have those capabilities to get that run rate going and, and push that product out to our clients. So 
once that's in place, you yeah. can just pick and choose. That's right. Whatever USB. That's right. PTZ that you want to use. You got it. Right. That's you got fantastic. It. We have a number of universities right now that are testing that transmitter with all the different manufacturers of cameras. So we're going to develop a list of products and PTZ cameras that we know work for sure, certified by some of our university partners. What? But that in mind, that's that's cameras, that's displays. Mm -hmm. But the audio ends of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like the fact that your amp is built in. Right. You know, you're using less or use space Correct. in a rack. Correct. You know, and okay, we talked about the big, the big, the big boy, the big boy. Yeah. You can, you can scale down to some Absolutely. smaller models. Again, we want to give you options. You may not need big brother. You may just need little brother. Mm -hmm. Little brother is a one rack U space, full whack width. That's going to give you uh, HDMI ins and outs. It's going to give you USB-C. It's going to give you Dante audio. There's no amplifier, but there's a DSP. There's GPIOs for show me buttons, and there's relays to drop screens. I mean, again, there, there's more there than you would probably ever need, but we got to give you options. Do you, do you find that the end user can can go into the support ticket mm -hmm. system easily, or do you always say that, okay, this is a bit of a scale that a Navy technician will need to do? No, no. Once you register that product on our Sigma Cloud, which is the program you're mm -hmm. alluding to, it's very intuitive. There's little training required. There's a couple tabs. One of them says service. You click it. You select the product that you're actually seeing as being monitored, and you open a ticket. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> you, of course, you guys are, of course, engaged with Hetma. We're at the Absolutely. Hetma booth here. Absolutely. How long have you guys been involved with Hetma? So Wirestorm, as a corporation, has been involved with Hetma for about maybe the past year and a half. Personally, the previous manufacturer that I was with, which was a display company near and dear to my heart, uh, Sharp NEC, mm -hmm. I was involved I, I with know HEPMA. A few guys yeah, over man. NEC, Those are my over guys. In the UK and Ireland, yeah. I've been involved with HEPMA since its inception from a display standpoint. Mm -hmm. And then when I transitioned into Wirestorm, I had to bring it with me, man. Yeah. Because between Joe Way and, and his team, Joe's and, over and there the, sitting the in relationships the that I've been able to, to yeah. the friendships I've been able to develop, and just the overall community, it's, it's priceless, man. It's great. Okay. We're going to wrap this up a bit. Sure, sure. What has been, you just say this is your 10th year. This is my 10th year, man. Are you still seeing new things in Vegas that you haven't done? In Vegas, I stay pretty conservative. So if I'm not here or if I'm not at a dinner, I'm probably in my room. Okay. Okay. But from a show standpoint, every year I see something that kind of knocks my socks off. Yeah. And not only that, there's familiar and then there's new. So I see all of the people that I know. Yeah. So... Infocom is like a big family reunion for the AV industry. It is. I look forward like, to that. I, I, I was saying to Joe, the difference between Infocom and ISE, I'm sure you've done yeah, an ISE. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. sure. So, ISE, it's just full on, busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Paul's busy, busy, busy. And then yeah. you get to the last day and go, time out, guys. I want to I want to <laughs> rest. This over three days. Uh huh. It is busy. Right. But like the nice thing of doing educational summits. Right, man. Being able to yeah. go up. There's so much more food boots. There's a place to relax. Yeah. If you want, you can adopt a dog here. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, Infocom is, is not bananas like ISC is. Yes. It's still very much under control. And you still have opportunities to go around and visit all your friends and all your industry connects. That's what I really love about Infocom. Man. And Vegas or Orlando? Wow. Um, it's got to be Vegas. You know, I do like Orlando because it's it's more of a family atmosphere. So I, I have often have will bring my family. Yeah. Right. Because I got little ones. Um, but Vegas is all business, man. It's all yeah. business during the day. And then they got great restaurants at night. They have great Sometimes it's a struggle to find somewhere nice. good to eat yeah, in yeah, Orlando. Yeah. Let's yeah. be honest. Really? Okay. Okay. Good. To, <laughs> if people want to find out, Mark, more about sure, sure. Wirestorm, Get in touch with your team, whether yeah. they be over in Europe or over in yeah. America. Where do they go? Listen, man, uh, the best way to learn more about Wirestorm is either to visit Wirestorm.com, mm -hmm. right? Or if you want a more personal approach, find me on LinkedIn, Mark W. Knox, yep. right? And if you're at Infocom, which you're probably not because you're listening to the show, you're listening now. we're right in earshot of this booth at uh, C8149. 
Well, you guys have been great, and you've been great to support Hetma. You've been great Thank to you. support the whole thing, Steggy Podcast. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. I love Paul over in That's my, my guy. Side, uh, That's my water. guy. Yeah, I wish he was here. Yeah, I really do. He wants one of these T-shirts. <laughs> I've got to get him one of these T-shirts uh-huh, as well. For he sure. loves the green. Marcus, it's been a pleasure talking Absolutely, to you. Absolutely, man. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Thank you for tuning in to All Things Techie Podcast, part of the Extreme Media Network. Follow us on Twitter at AV Tech Junkies. Subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also watch our show on YouTube by visiting youtube.com forward slash at Justin underscore or underscore Dawson. Previous episodes of our show can be found on our official site, www.allthingstech.ie. For advertising and sponsorship opportunities, please visit www.extrememedia.ie. Thank you.